Thank you, Marilyn. It has been more than a month since some Florida schools began welcoming students back to the classroom, and many are calling for more transparency of COVID-19 activity within school districts. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is getting answers from the department, the Florida Department of Health specifically tonight, and he's joining us live. Joe, the state says it's working on a solution. Yeah, the state health department and the governor said yesterday uh, that they're still working out a way to report that data but they didn't give a timeline. No word yet on when uh, that information is uh, going to be uh, coming. But uh, there, this comes, of course, as Duval County students are set to uh, to uh, return to full time brick and mortar learning over the next uh, couple of weeks. As Duval County Public Schools is set to begin phasing out its hybrid attendance model for students, the battle over how school districts should report useful COVID-19 data is still being fought. Yesterday, Governor Ron DeSantis indicated that Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran and the state's Surgeon General Scott Ripkes are working to develop a, quote, digestible format for the data to go out to the public. What's the holdup? I asked the Department of Health, which sent this response, quote, County health departments provide confidential COVID-19 information on positive individuals and close contacts to positive cases to schools, superintendents, or other designated individuals in school districts, as that has been determined to be necessary by the state Surgeon General. The department then cited two state laws, which do say the information in the reports is confidential, unless releasing it is deemed necessary. The Florida Health Department said it hands the information over only to the 67 school superintendents, with the understanding that it's to be protected by those two laws. Quote, we are still working to determine the structure and release of the report containing information regarding cases of COVID-19 in schools and daycares, and will advise as soon as that has been finalized. And as we've been reporting, some school districts like Duval County, Alachua County have been publishing uh, dashboards with school by school information. Parents say that's really useful uh, to have that uh, pinpointed data. Other districts are uh, many other districts are doing weekly district wide numbers, which uh, what we're hearing from parents is just far less useful. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.